The fifth book of Legend of the Galactic Heroes came out in November. I read the book, and now it's time for my thoughts. Previously, in Legend of the Galactic Heroes, with the Reinhard von Lohengrom's attempt to take ice alone by brute force having failed, he decided to switch to Plan B, avoid us alone entirely, and take the neighboring nation of Fezan under control, and then use their route to the Alliance to conquer. Fezan had sort of been allowed to exist prior to this, in the, mostly independent of both countries, because Fezan served as a sort of intermediary between the Empire and the Alliance in matters of trade, effectively serving as a war profiteer, particularly since Fezan also took measures, partially of their own accord, partially brought on by the Church of Terra, to keep the war going, instead of serving as an intermediary for negotiating peace. The idea being that no one ever really expects to win everything, so Fizan still serves a purpose, so they should get left alone. Reinhard von Lohengram, after all, wants it all, expects it all, and thus Fizan's independence, as far as he is concerned, has outlived its usefulness. So, Fizan and his staff basically come up with their own version of the Schleifen plan to invade Fizan to provide an alternate route into Alliance territory and force a final battle with the Alliance Navy. Julian Mintz, Yang Wenli's ward and now former aide-de-camp, has been transferred to the Alliance delegation to Fizan as an attaché. He witnesses the invasion and occupation firsthand, and manages to mastermind a return to the Alliance, along with learning from a drunken priest of the Church of Terra that the Church may have been manipulating things from behind the scenes for quite some time. So, the stage is set for a battle four novels in the making. Reinhardt and Yang have gone head-to-head -head twice in the past. Both times have been rear-guard actions on Yang's part, protecting Alliance forces during a retreat. Both times, Yang has been able to turn a rout into an orderly retreat, helping to save the Alliance Navy and thwart an Imperial invasion into Alliance space. Combine that with the fact that he captured the seemingly uncapturable Isolon Fortress, he's obtained the nickname of Miracle Yang. Meanwhile, Reiner von Lohengram, having gotten from a minor admiral in the Navy of the Empire to now ruler of the Empire, is coming in with the full might of the Imperial Navy at his back, in full command and with the entire nation under his control. So, Yang needs to muster all the forces he can get a hold of to stage a defense against Reinhardt's onslaught. It is the battle which we have all been waiting for. The build-up and final execution of the fight is very well done. There's a strong sense of tension in the book, and once we reach the final battle, it's a strong page-turner. Shiki Tanaka does a really good job of shifting the level of the fight from the grand scale, where we see the whole fight from both sides, to a closer level of the various commanders and their limited access to various pieces of information. Ground level of the crewmen who are dying within those ships, that, which reminds the viewer that, yes, this, this is a big, grand battle, but it's a big, grand battle with a human cost. All the battle itself is engaging, without giving away the finish, I will say it's like a boxing match that actually goes the full 12 rounds, and it seems like one fighter is going to knock the other out right before the bell rings, only for the fighter who we thought was going to lose to win the match on points. It's not a decisive win, and you find yourself wanting a rematch. And the denouement, denouement, does a really good job of sowing the seeds of that rematch while also providing the emotional context for why you might not necessarily want it, like making it clear that this fight had a tremendous human cost on both sides. And particularly in the case of Yang Wen Li, it's a cost that he is aware, distinctly aware of and has to keep in mind when it comes to is this rematch going to happen? We're at a new status quo in the Legend of Galactic Heroes series and with a few possible directions the story can go in from there. The next book is set to come out in April of 2018 just next month as of when this video goes live. I've already ordered that book and I'll give my thoughts on it after I've read it.
very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe, and please click the notification button to be notified whenever new episodes of this show go live. If you really like the show, please consider backing my Patreon at patreon.com slash count0or. Backers can view episodes up to one week early, and also pick future games for Let's Plays. Thank you for watching.